What is up people and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be looking at Prometheus monitoring and I'll be showing you how to integrate your Prometheus into your C Sharp application, so for .NET Core. So let's go. So this video is part of my Prometheus monitoring series, which is under my Docker development guide. So check the link down in the description. Um, you'll find access to the free open source GitHub repo where I've published all the source code you're about to see in this video. So you can use this video as a reference guide and follow along and also learn something new. So just before we begin, in order uh, for Prometheus to monitor your application, you're going to need a metrics endpoint. So on the left hand side over here, we have our application and I'm going to be showing you how to integrate a client library into your app so that you can create a metrics endpoint. And then on the right hand side, we're going to get create a Prometheus container that's going to come and scrape our endpoint and monitor our application. Alrighty, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to head over to clone the repo, go to the readme on the front page, you'll see the Docker development guide YouTube series, this shows all the videos that I've made so far on the on the series, um, you're going to want to head over to the Prometheus monitoring section and click this link, this will take you through to the Prometheus monitoring readme, now you'll see how to start up this the Prometheus Grafana stack and I'm going to leave this to last to show you the magic of how our metrics um, gets plotted onto graphs. But the first thing we're going to want to do is spin up the .NET application. So we're going to go ahead and copy this bit here and we're going to paste it in the terminal and that's going to go ahead and build our application. So what you want to do is go to the Prometheus monitoring section. There's a .NET application, but we want to expand the source code and look a little bit deeper. So the first thing we're going to need to do is go to our um, CS project file and we're going to want to go ahead and add the Prometheus Net ASP.NET Core library. Now just to show you guys the Prometheus libraries um, that's available is Prometheus-Net and this is basically the metrics exporter for the Prometheus uh, monitoring system. Um, they also have a Prometheus-Net for ASP.NET Core so this will extract a bunch of extra metrics from um, I think it's the Kestrel server that runs the code so you'll get some extra metrics out the box, but you'll also get access to the default Prometheus net, which has like the counters, the histograms, gauges, and so forth. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is go to your startup.cs, um, add the using clause for the Prometheus SDK, and then we scroll down and where is this bit? We add this line, app.useMetrics server. This will go ahead and add a metrics endpoint to the end of our URL, just like I showed you guys in the, in the previous slide. Um, it's gonna create a metrics endpoint, and this is the metrics endpoint that Prometheus will come and scrape to grab our metric. Now that is literally all we need to add Prometheus to our server. Prometheus will come now and scrape our metrics, um, but now the next thing we need to do is actually define and instrument some code. So I've gone ahead into pages. This is a default MVC um, ASP.NET application. I've just grabbed one of the index pages and I want to kind of show you guys how we create metrics. Now, when I talk about metrics, I there's two main things that I like to know. One is how many times are my functions being called? How many errors am I getting per second or per minute? How many requests am I getting per minute or per second? So a counter metric is very important. Now, Prometheus provides us with a way to um, instrument count so you can see i have a get method for this page so whenever someone hits the root of the site they're going to call this function so i want to see how many requests per second am i getting how many times is this on get function being called so for that we just need a basic thing called um, a counter so we created this counter object and we called it processed job count you can call it whatever you like it's just a counter that increments and here we say counter dot increment and that'll increment it every time this function gets called it's really really simple the second 
um, important metric is the histogram, which is basically a duration. Um, it's a way for us to track or observe something in what's called buckets. So we create a bucket um, and we create five buckets here. So you can see we would define a start, a width and a count for our histogram bucket. And we want to observe time in this case. So what I do, I just use a normal .NET um, stopwatch. I start a stopwatch and you can then do some work and then you stop the stopwatch. And then what you do is you pass in the elapsed time total seconds to your histogram. So that is how you just basically track the time. And this could be time for you making an external call. It could be the time taken to call a database. Um, whatever sort of processing you're doing, you can track this using a histogram timer. Now let's go ahead and look at our application. I'm going to go ahead and refresh this one a few times just to generate some traffic. This is our ASP.NET page and this, this is basically hitting this get method which is doing a timer and it's doing an incremental counter. So we refresh this a few times and then what we're going to do is we're going to do the magic bit and that is starting the Prometheus and Grafana stack. So what I want you to do is copy these Docker Compose up statements and I'm going to go ahead and paste that into the terminal and that's going to start up Prometheus, Grafana, and it's also going to start up a little extra container which is going to import a set of dashboards that I've created for this demo. And now what we're going to want to go and do is open the browser and go to localhost 9091 and you'll see the Prometheus landing page. If you head over to status and targets, you'll notice that there's a target configured called .NET application that's up. Now, how did I configure Prometheus? If you head over to the left-hand side of the source code, you'll see a Prometheus.yaml file. And this is an important file because this file describes, um, it basically tells Prometheus where to find the endpoints to scrape. Remember, Prometheus also has service discovery mechanisms. So in this case, we've just hardwired our endpoints here. You can see I have .NET application. So Prometheus is running within the same network and the Docker Composer network, and it's able to scrape our metrics endpoint. Now what we're going to want to go and do is go to Grafana, which is running on localhost 3000. And when we go to Grafana, if I refresh this, we'll see that I've already created an application telemetry dashboard for us. So go ahead and click that and we can look at the .NET Core panel and I've created the request per second and a duration here already. So if we generate some traffic for our website and go back to Grafana, you can see our request per second has spiked. Give the duration some time, it'll also start populating. But let's take a look at how request per second um, was calculated now that we have a counter metric. So if we go ahead and expand this, we can see that I'm calling a function and it's called irate. Now Prometheus has an irate function and you pass your counter into that. And what that expects as well as it is a little time on this on the right hand side. And what I'm doing here is I'm saying I want the per second rate over a period of two minutes. And this you can set it to two to about five minutes. And this accurately um, calculates the request per second um, for basically a counter metric. And you can use a similar um, counter metric for errors per second, operations per second, request per second, what have you. Then we're going to go back and we can now see here request duration. Now because I don't have any kind of sleep or any operations in um, that website, it's really, really quick. So this is like almost like microseconds. But let's take a look at how I calculated the duration. So if we expand that, now remember Prometheus has all these buckets for histograms. Um, and the buckets we're interested in is the sum and the count. So what you do is you calculate the rate of the sum over two minutes and you divide it by the rate of the count over two minutes. This is documented on Prometheus website and this is the standard way, default way of calculating duration with a histogram. 
So that is, um, in a nutshell, how you add Prometheus to your .NET application, how you instrument counters and histograms. There are um, a couple of other metric types as well that Prometheus offers, but these are the two ones I find the most useful um, to get instrumentation out of your application. So anyways, guys, head over to this GitHub repo, give this a try. Let me know down in the comments if you found this video useful. And until next time, peace. Oh, 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 oh,